Today I shall restore an old picture frame and create for it a bird watercolor painting. This is a second one from a pair, the first one I have renovated some time ago and I shall link the video in the description. This frame is old, smells old, has chipped paint all over and all, including the old photograph, is yellowed. Either from its age or because it lived through the times when heavy smoking was a thing. I find the photo from 1987 of sheep quite cute and will keep it maybe for future project, maybe for inspiration. I am first removing the nails to free the photo glued to the cardboard. I am then cutting the photo with an exacto knife since I plan to reuse the cardboard border as a mat for my watercolor creation, which I plan to paint to match the frame. As the future mat has a distinct old smell and the unfashionable yellow color, I use my gesso to refreshen it and make it snow white. It takes about three layers from the top and some two sanitary layers from the bottom. The frame requires the same treatment, but I have to start with some heavy sanding to remove the chipping paint and smoothen the surface. This will best be done outside, so I don't get the dusty kitty paw prints all over everything. I got all the way to the original primer layer, which is still holding well, and applied about four layers of gesso in preparation for my currently favorite color, pearl copper gold with mica. I'm painting the back of the frame as well to get rid of the smell of old. And at last, it is time to create the art piece worthy of this beautiful and shiny frame, the bird. I am starting with a pencil sketch, which then gets lightened with kneadable eraser to avoid it showing through the watercolor layer. Then I put down a light wash all over with green and orange to give the result this faded color matching aura. As this gives me a bit sentimental at traditional painting wipes. 
I am working on really thick rag handmade paper which explains the irregular edges and why some places behave unexpectedly when interacting with my watercolors. After that, I just paint as many layers as needed to give it the right depth, contrast and liveliness. All paintings always look better with more layers. Mentioning that, even all drawings look better with more layers. I am also keeping in mind to place and keep highlights with my paints, even though I really like using white gel pen to add another layer of definition when I am done with the watercolors. And now the last thing left is the assembly. So here we have it, a new frame with a pretty painting to go with it. 
Let me know if you like to draw and paint birds or if you mostly like to watch someone else doing it. Comment, like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.